Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 5th of March and this time I'm bringing you yet more news from GDC 2015. This time I'm bringing you the details of the Xbox conference which of course was helmed by none other than Phil Spencer and understandably one of the key points of this particular conference was the cross-buy functionality between Windows 10 and Xbox One. Now Phil took to the stage and he started discussing Windows 10 and Xbox One and how they'll be integrated and then even lamented how Microsoft has lost its way regarding gaming being central to the Windows PC and apparently one of the ways that they plan to lack rectify sorry their lack of PC gaming to support is allowing developers to create one game across all devices that being PC, Xbox One and tablets. So basically when using Windows 10 the US will act as one application platform across devices and will allow companies to sell games through the Windows Store on all Microsoft devices that does include mobile. So obviously this will tie into the cross-buy functionality and will allow developers to release cross-buy games, the first of which is going to be Pinball FX for both Windows and Xbox One. So basically, let's say you buy a game or DLC on Windows 10. It will then be placed in your Xbox One library if the developer has enabled cross-purchases. Of course, it's still down to the developer if they wish to allow that, but if they have, then basically what will happen is it'll be placed in your Xbox One library if you buy a game on PC. Now, Microsoft will be calling the service Windows and Xbox Live, and he actually said, quote, the games you own are the games you own. Play them on any device you own. We want to play people to play games wherever they are. Now, Crossplay was also demonstrated by the Indie Division Director, who goes by the name of Chris Charler, as well as the ID ARB team on a Windows 10 tablet as well as the Xbox One and naturally the ID at Xbox scheme is being extended to Windows 10. And another title that is going to be crossed by is the MOBA Gigantic and it of course was shown off as well. As well as all this lovely information, Spencer did also reveal that the Xbox One SDK for Xbox Live development is available from today basically to select developers and will be very handy for those intending to use the ID at Xbox Indie service. And as I said earlier, ID at Xbox will be ex expanding to PC but will also of course include tablets and phones. Now they kind of touched upon DirectX 12 but all they really said was that Microsoft noted a 20% increase in GPU performance in Fable Legends compared to DX11 on the same system. So there you have it. So there you have it. That is a rather nice lot of information regarding cross buy. And it works pretty much as they have said before, but with the first we've seen the real nitty gritty. They've said kind of the overview before. And now, of course, we know pretty much exactly how it's going to work. As I said earlier, it's still down to the developer to be like, hey, let's have cross buy. But we always knew that. And that, to be honest, that's fair enough. It's still down to the developer how they want to do it and all that good stuff but this is really good for gamers you know if you buy a game you should own that game and obviously if you wanted to buy a PC version or let's say you buy a game on the Xbox one and you want to buy it on PC or whatever I do wonder if it's going to work the other way around from the wording it sounds like if you buy it on PC on Xbox one you get it but I don't know if it works the other way as if you buy it on Xbox one you get it on PC I'm not really sure they didn't really touch upon that as far as I know I have looked around can't find the information I would assume that's how it works but of course assume it makes an ass out of you and me as the lovely saying has been known to say regardless very nice information I'm looking forward to windows 10 it's going to be awesome obviously we windows 7 and 8 owners will be getting a nice free upgrade to it as well so it's going to be interesting and of course i will be giving my thoughts and opinions when the os does actually release anyway that is me done for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time